So a rider requests a ride and the nearest driver is pinged every time, right? Well, that's the way it used to be, but not anymore. Uh, Joe here with the Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to discuss how Uber matches riders with drivers. When Uber first launched, their matching system was straightforward. Um, a rider would make a request, and the nearest driver would be pinged with that request. But at some point, that changed. Um, Uber didn't make an official announcement when this happened, but they recently published an article on their website showing how it works. Matching with the nearest driver sometimes isn't the most efficient way to match riders with drivers. So Uber thought of a way to make this a more efficient process by introducing what they call batched matching. So let's take a look at an example and see how it would play out under the old system and under the batched matching system. So under the old system, rider A requests a ride and the nearest driver is two minutes away. Then driver A accepts the request and a match has been made. Nearby though, rider B requests a ride and the nearest driver to them is now nine minutes away. So total wait time for those two requests is 11 minutes. Now if we take a look, driver A was actually only four minutes away from rider B and driver B was actually four minutes away from rider A. Using batched matching um, after a request has been made, the system will think a little bit instead of immediately matching a rider with the nearest driver. Um, the goal is to reduce wait time as much as possible. So as in the example, instead of matching rider A with the nearest driver, the system thinks a bit and instead matches more efficiently by understanding that it can reduce the total wait time by three minutes if it matches both requesters with the opposite driver. So rider A will have to wait two more minutes for driver B, but driver B will reduce their ETA by five minutes. And rider B's wait time will be reduced by five minutes but driver A's ETA will increase by two minutes. So rider A and driver A are affected somewhat negatively by batch matching for this particular situation, but rider B and driver B are affected positively. And overall, the more this plays out over many ride requests, it is a net positive for everyone. And Uber states that every day batched matching is saving riders and drivers 10 years of time compared to the old method of matching. That's pretty incredible. So again, not sure when this uh, change to batched matching happened, but um, for, for those of you that drive for Uber, have you noticed a difference? Um, I'm primarily a Lyft driver. Um, I'm hoping that Lyft either has implemented or will implement a similar system because I still get many inefficient requests on Lyft. So overall, what does this mean for us drivers? Um, a more efficient system is just better for everyone involved. Um, I've been a driver for nearly five years now and the Uber system has been made much more efficient since I since I began, even within the last year. From no wait trip requests to rerouting and now batch matching, Uber is constantly trying to make their system more efficient. And they're gonna continue to do this because the more efficient the system is, the happier riders, happier drivers, less ETAs, lower wait times. Um, and they're gonna continue to do this because if Lyft doesn't make the same changes, it gives Uber a competitive advantage. Ultimately, you want the lowest possible ETAs and wait times and Uber has a group of data scientists that are working towards making the system even more efficient. Um, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and drive safe. Thanks.